YouTube. We are once again back on Free Code Camp doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the JavaScript algos and data structures course on the ES6 submodule on challenge 17 of 29. So today we're going to write concise declarative functions with ES6. So this is super fun stuff. All right. So when defining functions with ES5, functions within objects rather in ES5, we have to use the keyword function. So this is an ES5 object. And we can see we have a name property of Taylor, and we have a say hello property of a function that says, hello, my name is this dot name, which is Taylor. So my name is Taylor. Uh, with ES6, we can remove the function keyword and the colon altogether, and it looks like we can just throw a function in the object. So that's all we're gonna do for this function here. Uh, as you can see, this syntax is literally just a function within the object, and that makes it a property. That's all we have to do with ES6 and above. Uh, back in this ES5 days, we used to have to define the function name as a property, colon, and then function, and then open it up like that. Now we can just say function name, function parentheses, open the function up, that's it. So let's do it. So it looks like we have a bicycle object. It has two gears, so a gear property of two, and a set gear property of a function that takes in a new gear and it assigns the gear property to be the new gear. So this dot gear equals new gear. And we're gonna change the uh, change this set gear property so that it actually just sets the gear with the new gear, but in ES6 syntax. So they're trying to set it to three and then they're trying to console log the three. So if we look, okay, that is working. So we just need to refactor this so it me uh, meets the ES6 standard. So we know we take out the function keyword and we take out the colon essentially. That's really that's really the main things here. Uh, remove function keyword, take out the colon, and naturally it kind of just becomes a normal function at that point. And same thing, same logic to return or to set this dot gear to be the new gear number. And that's all we had to do for that one. So you can see how this makes sense, right? This is just literally a function within an object. Uh, it's the exact same as it was previously where we could set a property value to be a function. This is just the new syntax. Same exact thing. Hope that helped. Hope that made sense. And I'll see you guys in the next challenge.